quick thinking MacGyver solution. We're I gonna think. go over and ride Triumph Tigers this morning. Forgot to turn the camera on. Enjoy that at home. You were in this, because you'll need the first aid more than anyone. <laughs> We're working on having our own route in the state of Oregon. Thank, Thank you for the interest on the pump. Slow race time. Hey, yo, out, hey, out. Hey, out. That's a lot of to blow hey, out. Watch out, there's a lot of gas. <laughs> He's just tossing me breakfast burritos, man. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye to Blaine and start driving home. Previously on Lost. Duratec Day 2. Here's Ben DeRoe. I've been called worse. Look at deep ass sand. Brian from Hippo Hands is gonna let me take out his TW200. This is the maple bar. This is the greatest hobby in history. Oh, water crossing, water crossing. So Heidi's offering me whiskey and bacon to which I'm saying yes. Oh Check God. out this hat. And now the conclusion. Good morning, day three. This is presentation day of the Turatech rally. Uh, it did rain last night as we were promised and uh, there was a little wind, which I wasn't expecting. I did stake this thing down with really big like spikes when I put it in my canopy. So I wasn't worried about it blowing away, but I started hearing this noise about one in the morning. It's a lot louder inside the trailer, but and at first I thought it was raindrops because I was half asleep and I was like, that's way too loud for raindrops. And I came out and you can see the mark right here. The wind was just blowing this and it was banging on the hinge right there. See that? Um, and that was pretty noisy and I was afraid it was going to bother people out here. So quick thinking MacGyver solution. I took my, my Sea to Summit mug, thanks Moto Camp Nerd, and stuck it under there and it stayed up there all night and I never heard the noise again. So a little shock absorption. So these things are multi-purpose. They're coffee mugs that I've drank whiskey out of it and uh, also shock absorber noise deadener so good product now I'm gonna drink coffee out of it I got that lid on very tight well this morning we're gonna go ride triumphs I'm gonna ride a tiger 900 rally and then probably just gonna hang around camp today so I can make sure everything's squared away for the presentation at 2 30 I haven't decided if I'm filming it yet but I'm leaning towards yes because I think I have enough battery in the memory card space Tonight's the big raffle drawing. All that, and then tomorrow morning we pack them and go home. So I'm gonna gear up, and we're gonna go over and ride Triumph Tigers this morning. That will be a separate video, which I will link for you, test ride video, uh, but looking forward to it. I have not ridden a Triumph before, and the, uh, the course, the, uh, the route, that's the word I'm looking for, is mostly gravel. So we get to get some off-road test riding in, which is not a thing normally, so stoked on that. So let's go do it. Yeah! Okay, I hate when I ride a bike like this that I've never actually considered owning and leave thinking, I should get one of those. This is the best test ride I've ever been on. Wow. Uh, so Beers and I just test rode the Tiger 900 Rally Pro. Holy crap, was that a fun bike to ride. And we just went on this, they took us up a gravel road, like 20 miles of gravel road, just bombing, tearing ass up it. It was amazing. That was a very fun bike. The most fun I've ever had on a test ride. And I've never once in my life considered owning a Triumph. And I'm sitting here on my phone looking up pricing and specs and stuff. So that was a compelling, convincing test ride. Overall impressions of the Triumph Tiger is a very good off-road bike that is very comfortable on the road. I don't know, most comfortable for sure, but like most confidence inspiring standing position of any adventure bike I've ridden. The tank kind of comes out in a weird design. I can tuck my knees in behind and grip and there was no weight on my hands at all. And I can't do that with my twin. Um, it's like it's exactly purpose built for someone my height, which is great if you're average height like me. That was fun as hell. Great, cool bike. Check them out if you haven't. Check out my test ride for more of me going, oh my God, this is so fun, over and over and over and over again, because that's basically what the whole test ride was. I'm just running through my presentation, getting everything ready, and then we're gonna head over there in an hour or so. Probably have some lunch. Catch up with you guys after that, probably. Wish me luck. Thumbs up in the comments if you want to wish me luck. Here we are in the video tent on the grounds at Touratech. I'm gonna get set up. Tech guy will be here soon. We'll do some tech check setup and we'll roll with the presentation, which is an extended version of the one I did at the Giant Loop Ride. This is the tent. Here, I'll give you a tour. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's where I'm gonna stand. One hour later. 
Hey, so this video is just now starting and I've been doing this presentation for 15 minutes. So, forgot to turn the camera on. Enjoy that at home. I don't think you can see the screen. Like <laughs> and the thing is, when I started, so when I started this journey, the journey I'm gonna tell you about, I had no idea my path would lead me here to this stage or to this grassy tent. This is me, mostly sedentary. I'm stuck in a rut. I have a very clear routine. I get up, I go to work, I come home from work, I have dinner, I go to bed, I get up, I go to work. I come home from work, I, I, I have dinner, I go to bed. This is my life. A lot of fast talking later, in March of 2017, this happened. I got my first off-road motorcycle, 2016 Honda CRF250L, and this is a Harbor Freight, an aluminum Harbor Freight hitch carrier that I bought the night before and put together in the garage. I don't like those, so it's... It, it, <laughs> going down the freeway, it was doing this, no kidding. And it's the most butt-puckering experience of my life, watching my brand new bike just do this in the rear view mirror, just hoping to God it doesn't fall off. June of 2018, this is a year later from what I was just talking about. My first time riding solo in the woods. This is the first time I found this spot, um, one of the most beautiful, to that, at that point it was the most beautiful view probably I'd ever seen, definitely the most beautiful one I'd ever ridden to. I found it that day entirely by accident. And I found it because I, I strayed off the path, right? I was like, I'm, I'm, my plan is to go this way, this is what I'm focused on, but I wonder what's over here. And I got off my planned path. And th this is, to this day, is why my policy is when in doubt, always go up. And my favorite part of this whole journey of everything so far is comments, oh, I have a slide for that. Then my favorite part, uh, comments like these. I screwed up my timing. Just picked up my first DRZ because of your channel. You gave me the confidence to buy a CRF 300L. I just bought a DRZ. Pick up an Africa twin, pick up an Africa twin. This stuff, right? People finding the motivation to take that first step on their own journey, right? That is my favorite part of all of it. So what have I learned? I told you I was gonna tell you. I told you I was gonna tell you what I learned along the way. Well, a few things. One, where I thought I was headed was not where I ended up. But if I'd never started, I wouldn't be here. If I'd never started, I'd still be on the couch. So you don't have to know every single step of the way to your goal. You just have to get out there and get started and then your path will, you'll find it, you'll find it like I did. I've learned that focusing on helping other people is a good thing. People respond to that and, it, and it's okay to not be perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. What's important is to be honest and to move on, right? Keep going. And I've learned that amazing things lie off the beaten path or outside your comfort zone. It's easy to get into a routine to follow the one path that you follow every day, but sometimes if you lift your head up and look around, there's amazing stuff out there. Um, and it's literally true when you get up and just kind of explore the woods, but also you know, sort of metaphysically true. Because if I never got off my ass, I'd still be here. If I never started, that'd be me. I still would not allow to hold a cigar. This is my favorite joke when I put this picture up. Look at my pants, by the way. I don't even know how to buy pants, okay? Those are massive pants. So the conclusion, what's the point? Adventure is for everyone. I told you at the beginning, right? Get off your ass and chase your dreams, even if you're not quite sure what they are. And this applies to, it's not just about motorcycle. You know, it's about asking for a promotion at work, or starting a new hobby, or you know, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to. You don't have to be able to do it right the first time. You don't have to be able to get to the end goal. You just have to start. And sometimes you take a few steps and you're like, oh, I'm going to go over here. But if you never got to this point, you never would have seen that possibility. You have to start. you got to remember this. Don't forget to be excellent to each other. Okay? <laughs> but before I let you go, this is the actual most important thing. Who wants free stuff? Anybody? Okay. Well, everybody. The benefits of working for a company that sells motorcycle gear is they're like, hey, take some gear to give away because we want to promote it. And I was like, okay. So, I have this box. So, who, who here got their motorcycle endorsement most recently? March of this year. Ooh. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Anyone more recent than that? No? Just okay. Remember, Last year is my first time ever on motorcycle. Wow. Five years old. Yeah, good, good, dude. Yeah, I love that. Very cool. Well, you've earned this because you'll need the first aid more than anyone. Else. Does anybody want a koozie? Oh, yeah. Okay, I have a lot, so this will have feeding. Here you go. Woo! Feeding frenzy. Oh, they're so hard to throw. Okay. Why are you not filming that? I have a lot, so if you want one, just grab one out of the box. So that is all the stuff I have to give away. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support very much. It means the world to me. So thank you all for being here, and thank you all for watching and being part of the, this our community. So I appreciate you. So thanks, guys. Have a great afternoon. Just got back from my presentation. There will not be a video because I forgot to start the camera, and I don't think you could see the screen anyway. Uh, just because of how bright it was in the tent, but um, I can link the Giant Loop presentation that I did because it's essentially the same presentation with a new ending, which is everything that's happened since then. 
We'll see. It's theoretically possible I can salvage it, but I, I did not start the camera until I was at least 10 minutes in because I got excited. That's what I do. So I'm enjoying a celebratory beverage because I've fulfilled my obligation and it's fun. I like presenting. I was getting really anxious about it, but it's fun. And uh, it's our last night here at Turotec, so I hear some kegs are getting tapped and there's going to be the slow races tonight and raffle, BDR presentation, so lots to check out and enjoy. Also, I think like five people are going to buy Tusk chairs because they were so excited when they saw mine in person. They're really great chairs. But survived, hard parts over, and it's all downhill from here. All celebrations. I have a flask of Moto Camp Nerd branded alcohol. Yeah. That's coming soon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. To get, a stores near you. Get on that, Ben. <laughs> and I'm going to drink it right in front of camera so you guys can see how great it is or isn't. We won't say what's happening right after this because that would be unprofessional. Unprofessional? Yeah. Mm, tasty. MotoCampNerd.com. Go get you some. Hashtag sponsored. Crushed it. Yeah. Chris is, Chris is ready. Hold on. Don't worry. It's just water. It smells like water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spice, it's water mixed with water. some. They put it in a barrel. They mix it with some. Uh, put fish some, in there. Yeah. You shoot them. Yeah. I also have some water mixed with malted barley and hops. We're going to watch the BDR presentation starring our friends, Chris and Nathan. And they're definitely 100% professional and everything. So let's go watch a little bit of that. Nathan heads up our route management. So he looks after a lot of the existing routes, also is a part of the route development. But uh, when people send emails asking questions about problems or what's going on with certain routes, he oversees that, does updates when there's fires, road closures, washouts, etc. And then Chris is an ambassador, and she was also, I think, the only woman that ran through the uh, course last night. At least it was on the front of the motorcycle. <laughs> what kind of bike should I do a BDR on? And the ideal bike is really just any dual sport or ADV type bike with a license plate, knobby tires, and enough range to get between, you know, gas stop A and gas stop B. Most of those on, on BDRs, we try to aim for 120 to 150 miles, so. We get that question a lot, um, but we're working on having our own route in the state of Oregon. As far as what's coming next, that's not decided yet. We haven't released Wyoming yet. Typically, we don't decide and announce the route until after we've re released the next route. Is that fair? Very diplomatic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what route do you consider? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Sure seems like he was hinting to get something there. I've been working on that one too. All right, we're here at Atlas sampling the goods. Very cool. Thank you for the assist on the pump. Also, I have to point out that this is my MotoCamp Nerd cup. So, yeah, MotoCamp Nerd's products are very versatile. Not just for coffee, that's all I'm saying. Oh, we announced it. Damn, good timing. I know, just that announced it. This is the right time. Nailed it. Cheers. Ooh. No, I'm just looking for it. The masses are coming. Thanks for the beer. Word. Appreciate it. Oh, our timing sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I didn't do anything with cheers. Anyway, it's cheers. Fine. You earned it, buddy. You earned it. Earned it. But, yeah. It's good beer, too. This is no garbage. Beer? Yeah. Icicle. Yeah. Icicle cream. Let's go watch some slow race for five minutes till I come back for more beer. Slow race time. Be safe. Have a good time. Jimmy? Nicely done! Very nice! 
We got this is the finals or the semifinals. This is definitely a mismatch. Donnie Reddington of equipment versus. And if I won that 950, I would center punch that little electric thing. <laughs> hey, because it, it, it was team on him. Anybody got some elevator music? Like uh, uh, there. There's the aggressive. Hey, take it out! Take it out! Take it out! Come on, this guy's not gonna beat. There you go. It doesn't matter what he's riding. All right. Come on over. Let's do this. It's raffle time. It's time, Arr, for it's time for the raffle. Hold on, they're gonna light the fire. They can just turn the gas. That's guys, good. Guys, That's a lot of gas to blow up. Yeah, watch out, there's a lot of gas. <laughs> All right, are we good now? I mean, this has been amazing for us at Turretech. I want this fire to work. Oh, it's happening. I want to thank all like of our the vendors flame. that stuck with us through all these date yeah. changes and shit for the last 23 months. Yeah, put your hands together for Matt Lewis, who is the key cog for all of this. Yeah, thank you, Matt. This is Climb. Oh, lots of tickets in the Climb. We want, we're, this is for Climb. We're looking for Sean. Yeah. yeah! Size small. <laughs> that's, that's my neighbor, Sean. Go, Sean. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Well, that was a fun evening. Oh, it's cold. Sorry. I saw the slow race. I watched the raffle. Didn't win anything. Although I did score a t-shirt. I have one t-shirt that I got when they were doing random giveaways. And came back and hung out by the fire pit. John's fire pit with a few people with Jeremy and, and Beards and Alan. And uh, then eventually came back here to the trailer and it's, uh, it's time to go to bed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along on the adventure. Hope you enjoyed day three of the Touratech rally. Tomorrow is just packing up and getting out of here. Survived my presentation, did a good job, I feel like. And uh, tomorrow we'll just pack up and drive home. So uh, I'll catch up with you in the morning. But uh, if you're enjoying this video, if you enjoy these types of adventures, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't. But I'm cold and I'm going to get in my bag. So I'll catch up with you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's the last day of the Touratech rally. It's about 8 o'clock. Everyone's really packing up. It's a little wet. Rained more last night. And uh, nothing left to do but pack up and get everything in the truck and start thinking about making the long six hour drive home. So that's pretty much what I'll do this morning. Look at this. Impressive. I need a shower. It's been a few days. So Eddie just came by, and don't forget, you have to subscribe to Eddie, but he's just tossing me breakfast burritos, man. What a guy. It's great to meet you, man. Great to see you. Did you have a good event? It was awesome, man. Well, it was good to meet you. Have a good trip. Thank you for this. For it's gonna sure, hit dude. the spot. Exactly what I exactly what I needed. The little pick-me-up. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt, dude. That is a damn good burrito. With some sour cream and meat, potatoes in there. Thanks, Eddie. It's been a hell of a trip, man. Thank you for hanging out and riding with me and Make sure I didn't get lost and dead on top of Taiyi Mountain. Right. Uh, or Chumstick. Yeah, or that's, any of the other dumb places. That's a much more fun, fun one to say. Yeah. He died on Chumstick. Yeah. Don't put that on my tombstone. It's been a great trip. Did you have a good time? I did. I had a very good time. Needed it. Yeah, this was good. Yeah. Nice laid back, relaxing. Wasn't worried about doing a lot of riding. I just wanted to come here and decompress, and that's exactly what I did. Yep. It was time. cool to just kind of experience an yeah. event here, but also get out and do some. We really, I think we just got like a slice of everything. We did the yes, the cereal variety pack. Right. Yeah. The like the little camping cereals. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Like, oh, that takes me back. I can go for some freaking uh, corn pops right about now. Mm, yeah. Good corn stuff. Pops, yeah. Ride safe. Hope your tire doesn't explode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, here's to that. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't yet, you need to go subscribe to this guy, He's making great content, and um, you get to see some behind the scenes dumb things that I do when we camp together. That's right. Like in two weeks when we're going and doing a BDR section. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see both versions of that video. Yep. All right, man. Well, have a safe trip. Yeah, man.
That about does it for Tech 2021. I'm mostly loaded up, getting ready to pull out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, the series of videos. I had a great time on this trip. Hopefully I can come back next year. Had a fun time presenting. It was great. We got kind of a slice of everything. We got some of the writing, got to present, so kind of got to see the vendor side, you know, did a test ride, hung out in the village, the bonfire raffle, all that. So great event. Uh, big shout out to Matt at Turretech for putting it all together and for inviting me, Matt and Tracy for inviting me to come out and present and be a part of it. So that was awesome. While I'm at it, I want to give a big shout out to my channel members and patrons who make content like this possible channel members and patrons get early access to videos, uh, merchandise discounts and other perks, and there's a link and a join button right below the video if you're interested. If you don't want to commit to a monthly expenditure, which I totally understand, you can also use my affiliate links to Rocky Mountain, ATV, uh, Moto Camp Nerd, Revzilla, or Amazon. Those are in the description below. Any purchase you make using those, I get a small referral fee and uh, cost you nothing extra, and you're helping put food in my family's mouths, so I appreciate that. But I think it's time to say goodbye to Blaine and start driving home. Got about six and a half hour drive. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. I know I enjoyed the event. And for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Yeah, it's oh, Buffalo nice. Trace. Uh, it's spicy. So, it's like, it's made with real buffalo. <laughs> real buffalo? <laughs> yeah. Buffalo chips? No, buffalo traces. Oh. It was yeah. filtered through <laughs> the buffalo. <laughs> yeah. So I'm drinking buffalo fits? Is that what it is? Ish. I mean, it's distilled. And he's still filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for I wasn't getting your face. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, you don't I was trying to be <laughs> subtle. <laughs> anyway, Moto Camp Nerd Buffalo Piss. <laughs> Buy it at motocampnerd.com near you. <laughs> no, this is, I think, the commercial for 2022. Turtec Rally, be there.